So this is where we're going because this is one of the bases where US forces had the artillery battery and they were firing from there volleys of unguided artillery shells into Raqqa. I didn't come to Raqqa with any preconceived ideas of, you know, what had or had not happened. It's a journey of, you know, discovering what happened. When I first came to Raqqa after the war, I needed relentless American, British and French bombardment that killed civilians and destroyed much of the city during the battle to oust ISIS. But what I came to discover was that little or no protection was afforded to the thousands of civilians who were trapped in the city. I had a hallway, a key. Yes. I'm interested in uh, documenting exactly from where artillery shells were being launched into neighborhood of Raqqa where they killed and maimed so many civilians. I think I know what this is, uh, but I'll take a photo and WhatsApp it to our military expert. From Brooklyn, these are military rations. No single thing by itself is of any necessarily massive importance but my work is about piecing together lots of tiny little bits of scrap of information and these are part of those scraps of information Raqqa is the most destroyed city in modern time in terms of percentage there is no part of Raqqa which has been left untouched these are the cases uh, from the remote research and at the same time cases that we geolocated on sat imagery not necessarily the precise building but the area and there are names i'm going to investigate the case of a little girl called fatima she's 10 years old an artillery shell struck her home killed their mother and their three sisters, and Fatima lost her leg. That's Fatima, the girl from next door we just met. I've been to Raqqa so many times now and I've done more than 400 interviews like this one. Artillery is very cheap, but that's what it does. Uh, entire streets where like, you know, every other house gets hit and whether the people inside get killed or not is, you know, whatever, luck. You cannot wage war like that. It's not acceptable. 
but if we don't document it, we can't expose that it's happening, uh, and there is no hope of holding anybody accountable. Contrary to what the coalition said, there were many civilians still in Raqqa during the military campaign. They were trapped between the bombardments and the ground fighting, while ISIS fighters killed anyone who tried to escape. U.S. soldiers boasted that they launched more artillery shells into Raqqa than anywhere since the Vietnam War, but it was actually the airstrikes that killed the most people. MK bombs that take out entire buildings. So we're trying to find one of only two survivors of a strike on a building which killed at least 32 people. And I just want to understand exactly where that happened. The satellite imagery can give a window but the best you can do with satellite imagery is that you need the absolute precise location because if I have something which is near, like, and, and here there is so many places that were hit, so it needs to be so precise, otherwise it could just be another case altogether, another strike. Ismi, Ismi al-Munazzama, ra'am telefon al-Wat, kille shashan ta'rif ma'a min tahchi, illa min aylte kille tuwafu. Hala, Muhammad Mutlaq. Zoujte. Ayy. ضربنا الساعة ستة المساء كان نهار هالثنين هلا في بناية ثانية كمان بقفها بعد بخمسة أيام كمان راح فيها شيء ستة وعشرين واحد تدامرة بدي أخذ موقع المكان بالضبط وين وين ماتوا هذا بدلك وكل كوان كل كل عائلة كانت موجودة أيوة كل شيء متذكر I need to collect as much material evidence as possible before it all gets wiped out as the city changes. This camera takes 360 images, so I need to go away now. And you need to go away also. Yeah. What happened in Raqqa is a situation where the forces that are involved, the international coalition, privileged protection of their own forces versus protection of the civilian population. It will never be possible, neither for Amnesty International nor for any other organization to investigate every single case. Um, the resources are just not there. Uh, it's, it's a huge um, undertaking. Mm. But I think that we have locked and investigated a sufficiently significant sample to really show that the coalition um, should be continuing this work. Because essentially what I've been doing here is the work that the coalition should be doing. Um, they have been bombarding the city. They should be here looking at the impact that that has had on the civilian population.